Now that we've completed the function testing using the ESU 2400, we've done power test, we've done leakage, high frequency leakage test, and we've done the REM test. We've verified that the function of the Force FX is all working properly. Now it's time to do the low frequency leakage using our safety analyzer. So here we've got the um, generator connected, all of the mains to applied parts are connected to all of my electrodes on the 2600. Now it really doesn't matter what sequence these are plugged into, uh, there are labeling on the 2600 for ECG leads, none of these are ECG leads, so all we have to do is measure the leakage to each one of these. Um, we've got the MyBC Mobile connected to the SA2600 using Bluetooth. So we can see that the Bluetooth icon is on and it's ready to go. I still have the same assets selected in MyBC Mobile from when we did our power testing. So that's correct, I don't have anything to change there. And I'm going to run the test at the bottom of the screen, I select test. And now I pick which device I want to test with, the 2600. Once it connects, it's going to just make sure again, do we have the right asset? Yes, this is the correct asset. And I'm gonna run my test. So now I'm presented with a uh, screen that shows all of the testing functions that are available on my 2600. I can do auto sequences, manual testing, I can open and close the ground and polarity, all that stuff. But what I wanna do here is let's just run an auto sequence. So let's do the NFPA 99 and we have applied parts. So we're going to run that test. Now below that auto sequence selection, we have the power mode and it's either on or standby. Well, that may be a little confusing. So to explain that, a device like the Force FX here, it has a rocker switch on it. And when that rocker switch is on, anytime line power is applied, this unit is on. So we consider that an on power mode. The standby power mode is for other devices like the FT10 that have a soft power key. I apply line power and it's just ready to be turned on. It's not on by default. I have to push that power button in order to turn it on. And those two options will change how the auto sequence functions as it runs. So right now we have a rocker switch. It's hard powered, so we're gonna say it's on. I'm gonna start the test. We start with line voltage and then earth resistance. Now if this was over the limit, it would wait here and make sure that uh, the resistance was valid before continuing on with the test. But we were under the limit, so we were okay. Now it's gonna say turn on the DUT and press continue. Now, as soon as I turn on the DUT, it was already on uh, for our testing. It has to go through a power up mode. So that time delay that was on the 2600 gives the device under test a chance to go through its startup mode or uh, initialization sequence so that it's, it's idle before we continue on with the test. Now it's gonna say turn off the DUT, so we'll turn it off. We're going to repeat the test with the device turned off and make sure that it's safe in all conditions, whether the device is on or off. Once the test is complete, it shows the summary result on the screen of my BC Mobile as well as the 2600. I press save at the bottom of the screen and now that saves my record to the database. I can go back to the home screen and I can look at that test record here. Here's my safety analyzer test that I just ran. I can see the details of that test or I can send that test to an email or a text message and have that information available for uploading to a CMMS system or storing to my um, asset management. Now, if I want to send multiple tests, I just have to press and hold on one of them and then I can check any of the tests that I want to send. I can send multiple at a time and I say send test results. Now all five of those tests will be sent at once. For more information about our extensive line of BC Biomedical products and products from our vendor alliances, browse BC Marketplace online at bcgroupstore.com.